Oh, uh, excuse me. Actually, can you turn that light back off? Sorry. It tends to flicker, and it's really annoying. Uh, thank you. Oh, it's you. No, I, I don't mind. That's your desk, after all. I've gotten used to working next to you now. So, how are you liking the company so far? Yeah, we've uh, certainly got some characters here. Lots of drama under the surface. No, you're not crazy. The boss and his secretary are definitely sleeping together. They're not even subtle about it. And then there's the couple over in accounting who make out in the annex when they think no one can see them. This is supposed to be a work environment, not a high school dance. Oh, it's so frustrating. They wonder why I never hang out with anyone after the job. Everyone who works here is so childish. Oh, I, I don't mean you, of course. From what I've seen, you're really on top of your tasks, and uh, let me just say you're, you're like a breath of fresh air sometimes. You actually take things seriously. And that makes me feel like I can trust you. Like we're a team. Them out there. Whatever. <laughs> Talking too much? It's not my place to judge them when my own life is so... <sighs> but what? I'm not hiding in here. Everyone else is just partying while there is still a lot of work to be done, and I'm the one who got stuck doing it. Yes, you're right. I did technically volunteer to double-check the data before the new year, but that's only because I thought they'd let me do it remotely. I really didn't want to be here when this party was going on. I had to get dressed up and everything, just to sit at my desk most of the night, all because we took that stupid company photo. Y you think I look nice? <laughs> well, that's... Um... Thank you. You know, I, I haven't worn this dress since the last holiday party. I don't have much occasion to go out and do nice things. And I don't have anyone to go out with in the first place, so it's probably for the best. Oh yes, I'm I'm very single. <laughs> I, I don't see that changing in the new year, I'm afraid. My last boyfriend told me I was a workaholic. And I can't really blame him for leaving. I knew I shouldn't have come in on Valentine's Day. I just like working. Numbers, data, spreadsheets are so easy to understand, and they never get upset at you. I find it relaxing being here under the fluorescent lights in my own little corner cubicle with my worn-out chair. Sure, it can be monotonous or lonely, but a predictable life is a safe one, isn't it? So, why did you end up back here? Was too much eyeshadow Monica hitting on you again? She was, wasn't she? <laughs> Sorry about that. She always goes after the fresh meat until they've been here at least eight months. And uh, you, especially since you're the most attractive person we've hired in a long time. Oh, was that... <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable or anything. That's just the common consensus amongst the uh, other ladies. If you're in a relationship, you should really let everyone know. Not that it's any of their business. Just if you want to stave off the desperate masses. Oh. You're single too. Imagine that. Well, of all of them. Stacy is your best bet. 
She's actually a decent person, even if she is kind of an airhead. So if you're ever looking for a date, oh, uh, not your type, huh? Fair enough. I I'm not trying to play Office Cupid. It's sorry if I sounded pushy at all. What can you help with? Oh, you you don't have to do anything, really. You you should be enjoying the party. <sighs> oh, okay, if you're sure, then um Oh, here. Um Could you alphabetize these new healthcare forms? Thank you. That'd be great. Do I have any resolutions for the new year? Oh, you know, this and that. Boring stuff, like most people. <laughs> there is this one odd idea, but it's stupid. <laughs> Fine, <laughs> I'll tell you. Uh, um, I really want to learn how to rollerblade. I know, it's silly, and you're probably thinking what kind of adult woman wants to invest her time in something like that, but I don't know. I always wanted to try it as a kid, and and now I still think it'd be really fun. I even went out and bought a pair last weekend. The, the skating rink over by the grocery store offers lessons on Saturdays, but they're mostly for children, <laughs> so it might be a bit embarrassing. I've tried scooting around on the carpet in my apartment. I'm sure I look like a fool. And I wish I had someone to hold my hands or like help me balance, but still, it's kind of thrilling, you know? And next year, I hope I can actually hold my own. Oh, please don't tell anyone about that. God forbid Robin HR tries to put together some well-meaning roller rink trip for my sake. <sighs> You'd be willing to help me learn? Oh, that's very kind of you, but I... If you saw me fall on my face, I don't think I'd ever live it down. Thank you, though. Oh, it's nothing. Sorry. It's just, I'm just still so surprised that someone like you is single. In a lot of ways, I think you're the perfect guy. Hardworking, smart, funny. Everybody likes you. And not just because you're handsome. But if someone like you is still single, then really, what hope do I have? I should be fulfilled with having my job, but sometimes I think that I'm missing out on something. Monica and all of them can't be totally crazy, right? Hmm. Oh, uh, why don't I try going out sometime? I'm just, I'm out of practice, <laughs> and I don't want to use a service or anything like that. The idea of speed dating... Uh, I'm not very good at those things. No, once someone gets to know me, they don't tend to like me very much anymore. You still like me? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's very sweet of you to say. You know, I'm not technically your supervisor or anything. You don't have to say stuff like that. Okay, if you really mean it, then I'll believe you. I guess that makes you and my mom that think I'm alright. 
And I wonder about my mom sometimes. <laughs> Thank you. To be honest, I did feel kind of cooped up in here. But you've made this into an okay night. Maybe we could do it again next year. Oh, I mean, at the next holiday party. I wasn't, I wasn't asking you on a date or anything a year in advance. That'd be kind of crazy. Um, if I was going to ask you out on a date, it'd be for like this weekend or something. Not that I am, even though I'm totally free. If you just, okay. Oh, is it that late already? Jeez, I'd better just... What? Sorry, they're so loud. Let, let me just lean in. Wow. I mean, um... Yes. H Happy New Year to you, too. No. No, I, I didn't mind at all. It was... Nice. You would like to go on a date this weekend? Sure, that sounds... Uh, great. Yeah, uh, let's figure out something fun to do when we have time. Well, I, I guess it really is a Happy New Year, then. <laughs> 